So in this video, you're gonna see me doing a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with one of the free sessions we gave away. Yes, we're doing a free giveaway for anybody who's not only subscribes to our YouTube channel, but also who joins our Blitz Coaching Program, which is all free. So we're giving away one free coaching session per week. This is an awesome episode of teaching Johan about how to go from six figures to his first half million. Check it out. Well, Johan, thanks for joining me, my friend. I greatly appreciate you. So let's just dive right into things. Let's dive into, first and foremost, I just wanna share with the audience, where are you currently at in your business? And then we'll dive into some of your questions. I'm currently my Miami, Florida. I've been working in Miami Day for quite a couple of years already. I had my license for 17 years, but I just had it, you know, and I started working in real estate probably mostly by, about four years ago. Started doing real estate, real estate. Got before it. it was just to hold the license. That's all. All right. And then you were telling me before that you're on a team right now. Is that the case? Yeah. Yeah. I joined a team a couple of years ago. It, it's been great. You know, you learn a lot. A lot. That's for sure. So you're on a team. You've been on a team for a little over a year now. Let's dive into some of your questions. Let's let's start off with the team question. You know, I was I was just wondering, especially in this uh, in this market, since it was so competitive, if it was still a good idea, or do you think that it's best just to go solo? for a while. What are your thoughts about those? So there's things? a couple of things that you need to take in consideration when you're on a team and thinking about doing your own thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. first and foremost, the bigger, the bigger question is where are a majority of your leads coming from right now? Yes. Currently from the team. Yeah. So majority of the leads are coming from the team. So let's talk about it. Right. So what is, and we're going to dive into some numbers. I hope you're able to share that with everybody because I want everyone to hear because it really matters about your splits because when you're breaking down a deal, right? Like even for a $10,000 check, mm -hmm. the difference of 50, 50 and 70, 30 or 80, 20, or even 25, if you only made 25%, those are massive differences in your bank account. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So let's talk about it. So how many, how many deals have you closed in the last 12 months or what do you want to track to close this year? Either one's fine. Um, well, this year I'm probably on my 20 uh, closings. To 20 yeah, closings. in a year from now. Closings. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, last year I had around I had 47 closings. 47 closings. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you're, uh, are you a buyer's agent more specifically? No, mostly a uh, listing agent. It's not my passion, you know, working with buyer. I understand. Uh, so you closed uh, 47 Because I don't know how to convert them as well. 47 uh, transactions last year. Yeah. Uh, and you're at 20 right now. So you're probably going to do a, about the same as what you did last year. Well, it's, it's slowing down. Yeah, it's definitely lot. slowing down. Yeah. What I have down here is uh, a lot of cancellations. I understand. You know, a lot of we're, cancellations. Know, we're seeing it all over the country. So let's talk about this openly, right? What, um, so a, de a deal that you get from your team, right? What is, mm -hmm. What's the split with the team right now? 50-50. 50-50. So if they give you a lead yeah. that you're closing, you're getting 50%, they're getting 50%. Yes. Okay. Yes. And just to clarify, are, is it 50-50 uh, split with the team and then you have to pay your own broker split afterwards? Or do you pay 50, is that included? Oh, no, 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 the, the broker is the, is the team. Got it, okay, you cool. know? Got the, it. okay cool. The broker is just the team, basically. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, cool, because that's a very big difference because some people are on 50-50 splits and then they have to do a broker split of 70-20, you know, or 80-20, uh, 70-30. Yeah, yeah, well, sometimes we have to pay referral fee to Silo, you know, mainly uh, is our main, um, uh, source of business. So is that what you're closing a lot of is Zillow leads? Well, last year it was a lot of those, you know, because, you know, Zillow had the iBuyer and we were the only um, uh, partner in South Florida that list and sell uh, the property that Zillow were buying and the ones that they were not, we were the only company, uh, you know, listing those properties too. Very cool. It's a great partnership. Yeah. Great partnership. Well, yeah, no, no. it was, it was terrific. It, it was unbelievable. <laughs> let's do the numbers. Let's do the numbers. Right. So for 47 transactions that you did last year, how many of them mm -hmm. were with the team and how many were by your percentage? Why probably 90, 10, okay, 90, so 90 from the team, 90 from the team. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So let's just, mm -hmm. let's take the example. Of, yeah, hold on. Um, I got the inspector I coming by for me. So let's, let's take it. So 90, 90, 10, 90% 90 from the team, 10% from yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. 40 transactions were from the team and let's say seven from yourself. Does that sound about right? Around there. Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, probably a little more. I had around 11, 12. Okay, cool. So then we'll do, let's do 80, 20, right? So that's fine. So we'll, we'll even use 12 from yourself and then the remaining will be from the team. Okay. So 35 from the team, 12 from yourself. Cause I want people to see the numbers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is an average sales price? Last year, I, pro I had 380. 380. 380. Okay. So yeah. at 380,000 at a what average commission? 
2%, 3%? 2.5. Okay. So times 2.5% is $9,500 gross income for a commission check. Okay. So now on the mm -hmm. 9,500 estimated, right? You're going to pay a broker split on 35 of these deals, right? For 50%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I say $9,500 a deal, right? Is a gross yeah. commission check on two and a half percent of 380. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. What I'm hearing though is this, you had to pay on 35 transactions, 50-50 broker split plus a Zillow referral fee. Is that accurate? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So how much is the referral fee with Zillow? 35. 35 and that's 35 off the top and then you split it 50-50, right? Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, take 9,500 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. Times 0. 0.65, cause that's the remaining mark after Zillow's referral fee. Now divide that by two, you're gonna make about three grand a deal that you got from the team that was a Zillow deal. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's about right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means times 35 transactions, times 35, that means from your team, you made about $108,000 from the team leads that you got, mm -hmm. okay? And then you had 12 deals you did by yourself times 9,500 bucks is another $114,000 you made yourself. So you made about 202 and change. Does that make sense? No, because from my split, yeah, from, from my personal sphere, it would, last year it was also 30, um, uh, 50 50, you know? Got it. So, so again, just to clarify, so then on your personal deals, the gross income was 114, but you made half that. I have for that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. times 0.5. Cool. Exactly. So you made 57 from that. So you mm -hmm. made about 150, 150 grand last year. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about all right. Yeah. Cool. So I want you to hear this guy. So, because this is very important, right? For somebody, somebody in your shoes who's been on a team and you do a fantastic job, right? Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing that's very interesting. If you were to do just the same amount of deals you did last year and you didn't have a 50 50 split, what would be your split if you had, right? If you went to a, a company, that had a regular split around 90%, 90 percent, 90 10. Yep, 90 10. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like that. So around there. Yep. So if you did, let's just say that because well, the prices are obviously going up in South Florida. Let's say you do 12 deals at four hundred thousand mm dollars -hmm. by yourself, no team, no team leads at all. Okay. Yeah. Now, now that's the average price down here in South Florida. I mean, the three fifty was last year, but now it had increased tremendously. Tremendously, exactly. Right. So yeah, you, like right. So 450, if you do four hundred grand times mm -hmm. 2.5%, that's 10,000 bucks, times 90% means your split is nine grand per deal, okay? Mm -hmm. Times 12 deals. If you work and you just closed 12 transactions next year and you never did another deal, let's just say you only did 12, even though you could do way more because you have all your extra time now, you do way more business, you're gonna make $108,000 mm -hmm. on your own business. Yep. Okay. Yeah. However, yeah. you're not going to be closing anywhere near the amount of transactions. You're going to only be closing, like you'd be closing less deals, but you could possibly make the same amount of money. Yeah. Does that uh, make sense? That's, that, yeah, no, no doubt. Mm -hmm. So the question, and the reason why I go through the numbers is because I want you to see it, right? Because there's two mm -hmm. things that somebody should be doing in your shoes. If after you look at the numbers and you see that you're bringing in 50% or more of the business yourself, which in gross income, right? Which you are, okay. you're generating more than 50%. Mm -hmm. Okay. You need to look and see if it makes sense for you to do one of two things. If you're grossing more than 50% of the income, you can leave and have about the same income next year. If you, if you left and did your own thing at a different split, yes, however, however, or the second option is, can you negotiate a better split? They okay. increased it. You yeah, know, they increased the, so, uh, the, from 50 to 70. Yeah. Cause if sphere. hypothetically, yeah. Cause if you, on your sphere of influence, I would even say more than 70, I would say, listen, what I'd like to try to do is get an extra 10% on all team deals. So if you're on your team deals, you can get 60, 40, try to negotiate mm -hmm. your team deals. And then also try mm -hmm. to get 25% more on your, on your self-generated deals. Okay. okay. So at 75 or be or 80, well, yeah, be... 75 or 80%. That's the goal. You always want to be in that mm -hmm. ballpark on self-generated deals. Yeah. Do they have, yeah. do they have an administrative assistant by the way, or no? Oh, they got everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're not doing they anything do. except for bringing the deal in and they have an administrative assistant who helps you with everything. Every, we have, you know, the listing, we had a, a listing coordinator, transaction coordinator. That's great. That's great. You got so, everybody. But, Marketing but again, department. If you're not making 80-ish 80, 80 percent on every deal you generate yourself, it's going to be very hard for you to make a lot of money in this business. Very hard. Yeah, I know. That's why, I, yeah, that's why I came with a, with a question, you know, yeah. Sure. So yeah, that's why I'm to. saying to you, what I would recommend is that you're going to try to, so you have two options. You can either leave and go do it yourself, 
which if you're going to do more than 12 transactions a year, which I know you probably can do on your own, right? Because you're a mm -hmm. hustler, you can make more money doing it that way. But if you also get your self-generated deals increased to 70 plus percent and the team generated deals up 10 or 20 percent, you can make a lot of money as well. It's just whatever comfortability you want to look at because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, you're giving up 100 grand a year in income. You're going to make it up yeah. because you do the same amount of business yourself. But I mm -hmm, want you to pay mm -hmm. attention to what your what your what the give and take is. Yeah, yeah, no, no, totally makes sense. Appreciate right? it. Yeah. So in your don't get me wrong, in your shoes, I would probably say if you can't get your splits increased, I would leave. If you can't yeah. get your splits increased, I would probably go one more year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because then, then you know I'll start bringing motivate myself to bring more deals by myself. Correct. And then try I'll to, be. And try set. to get your self gen amount. Get try to get your self gen deals because the next. By the way, I'm telling you right now, the next twelve months are going to be rough. Yeah, no, I can see that. Yeah. I, I'm, well, we're already starting experiences down here, and I'm sure everywhere else, you know. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. why I'm saying I would definitely, the next 12 months, I'd probably say go one more year with the team as long as you can get a little bit increased of a split. Just a little bit. I'm not saying crazy, like we're going to kill them, but definitely try to ask for a couple more bucks, okay? Because you're a good agent. Okay. If, you're doing, if you're doing that kind of business, they're going to want to keep you. Yeah, no, okay, yeah. And right. that's where I bring me the, the other question that I asked, you You know, yep. how to generate more leads, more business for myself. So that's when, when I connect with you, it was regarding the circle prospecting, because again, I'm, I, I like to be a listing agent, no, more, no much of the buyer's agent. So I was thinking, you know, and everywhere that I have my, my listings or have any listing, just to call everybody around it, okay, we have this listing in our property, I mean, in your area, Yep. and you know call from there or call any anybody else you know yeah sure so listen circle prospecting is something that i always value however you're calling the coldest of cold leads possible like you were calling the mm -hmm. coldest leads possible so just know that your conversion rate on those cold leads are not going to be the highest right okay it definitely can be a portion of your lead generation however i would not make it a majority mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay a majority of a person like you who's been in the business as long as you have should be doing the following 20 to 30% could be circle prospecting. A majority, I'd even say there were another 50% of it should be referral based, which is you need to go out and network your tail off and go meet with a bunch of new people. Every week, you need to be meeting one, two, three, four, five, or six people every week. Like you need to be out there hustling in the networking space. Because mm -hmm. if you're not okay. meeting people who can refer you business, that's the only way to truly go from making 100 a year to a million a year is having a very good Got referral based it. business, which means you need to know a lot of people. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So you spend like 50% of your week doing that. And the other part of cold calling, I would probably spend a good portion of your time. I would focus on one of the next couple options. Mm -hmm. okay? You can either focus on finding off-market investment deals, which is what I've done personally. You can make a good amount of commission on every deal. Like my average okay. commission on these deals is somewhere between twenty-five dollars and $75,000 because I can find off-market deals. When I find an off-market deal, I dictate the price. Nice. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, right? no doubt. So that mm -hmm. allows me to dictate the price because if it's off market, I dictate the price to the investor. As long as the deal makes sense to the investor, I can charge as much as I want. Got it. Okay. okay. So that's one niche. Another niche is you can call, there's going to be, a, um, there's not probably not a lot of expireds in, and or for sale by owners in your area. No, not yet. We'll start yeah, so, seeing it probably in the next six months yeah, or you so. Might, you might or start less. seeing that soon. So other mm -hmm. than investment deals, the only two other options I would say are the following. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, number one being, I would say, spend a little bit of time in the commercial world. You can try to get some commercial leads. I would try to do that only because it increases your price point. And if you can make 2% on a million or $2 million deal, which is like the lower end of the commercial world, you can make a couple extra dollars. Um, mm -hmm. But in the residential world, if you wanted to be doing that, I would probably be focusing on circle prospecting is a good one, but I would be doing open houses, Got number it. two. Okay. And I would also be pro I would also be calling all of your past clients and sphere, uh, all of your past clients and current clients that you've closed deals with. Like every time that ho that house is sold, I would call those people that bought that house or sold that house, right? Because I know you're using Zillow as a client. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. would call. I would try to you know get a get a hold of that homeowner, the new homeowner, or whoever the past client was that you were working with, and try to get some okay. referrals from those people. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. so those are probably going to be your most important lead sources that you're going to be working with. Obviously, they all have different conversion rates. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. But no, I mean, you gave me a lot, a lot of, a lot of nuggets. <laughs> Appreciate and, and it. Just, and just know that, like, listen, a big part of your conversion is going to be from follow up. Because if you're doing circle prospecting, they're going to yeah, need a lot I of follow up. Because they're yeah, probably yeah. not immediately looking to sell their property. They're probably looking at like either a twelve or a twenty-four month window, or six, mm -hmm. six month to twenty-four month window. That's why you need to follow yeah, up right. consistently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, uh, that, that I got um, pretty much down on the follow up. And I have learned a lot, you know, by losing a bunch of deals. 
Sure. Not for following up, you know? Yeah, look, I've been there too. So listen, I, I appreciate <laughs> you having me on uh, for the last 30 seconds. Thank you. Uh, again, listen, I want to say I want to commend you. Listen, doing 40-some on transactions here as an agent is, is, a, is, a, is an awesome thing. I'm proud of you. Now, now it's you. just time to take you from 150 to 450 to a million, you know? So let's start, start, start scaling your business up. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. We'll do. No Absolutely. doubt. Well, thanks for, mm -hmm. thanks for coming on today. I appreciate you and have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Take care. Take care.